All right, looks like we are all set up. Okay, confirmed on this end too. JB, welcome back to another episode of Automotivated. How are you? Well, you know, it's Automotivated about automation and I'm doing well, how are you? I'm doing very well. It's been a little bit since we've been on and uh, for an episode of Automotivated, and I am excited to start talking about some different automation. I know these are the things that make all of our lives easier, so we mm -hmm. want to help make shop owners' lives easier as well. Absolutely, because you know what? We get so busy in the shop day by day, but we never, we do things the same way for years, and we never ever think about it, and all this time that you've been doing the things the way you've been doing things. And I keep saying doing things, but anyway, the point being is that ch things change just like the automobiles that are coming into your shop are changing on a regular basis. They're getting more elaborate, more high end and whatnot. Well, if you're still doing your service process the way you did five years, 10 years ago, it's behind. And Absolutely. the point that I want to make too, is the fact that, you know, we're struggling with a shortage of individuals that want to come to work and uh, who know what to do when they work. So the more items that we can modernize and have them take care of themselves, the better it's gonna be for us. Agreed. And I think one of the things to really keep in mind, especially with the automotive industry, like you think of the automotive industry, it's getting your hands dirty, you know, labor work, things along those lines, but it's not always about working harder, it's about working smarter. And to your point, JB, you know, we're, we knew prior to the pandemic that we were in a technician shortage, right? So there are just less people coming into the industry. So we knew that that was something that we needed to prepare for. Then with the pandemic, even more things changed for that. So you need to look at what tools you have available to you to uh, you know, complement that shortage in, in staffing. And ultimately, you know, one of the things that we were talking about right before we popped on here, you know, a lot of people will look at, uh, you know, whether it's a tool like Bolt-On or any other automation platform really throughout any in, uh, industry, oh, well, that's just another thing we have to pay for. But, you know, it's, it's more so, all right, what you're investing, you know, not just simply what you're throwing money away on, what you're investing in, how that's saving you time, staff, resources, and ultimately dollars on the back end to help you scale the things that you're constantly doing um, in a way that you can set it and forget it. Yeah, I mean, you mentioned the back end and investing there is something that a lot of shops never question. You're going to get the latest, greatest uh, alignment machine, et, et cetera. But we never think about how we should really also invest up front because the same thing that's happening in the back with the automation and the newer equipment that does things faster, when you invest in software up front, that's going to do the same thing for your front end. And it's kind of a waste to buy an alignment rack and not have it used because the front end isn't bringing the vehicles to use it. Sure. So mm -hmm. it's a vicious cycle, you know? And here's the thing, when they shops invest in the back end, it's never ever cheap. Mm -hmm. You know, it's usually in tens of thousands of dollars, all right? When you invest up front, you're only talking hundreds of dollars or maybe dollars a day. And that's going to amplify everything that's in the back because if it automates, when it, when an advisor, you know, and even let me go back a step further, you know, you have shorter shortage of techs, you have a shortage of advisors. Mm -hmm. And when that advisor can automate a number of things that should be done automatically, he should be doing or she should be doing on a regular basis and that's all automated, well, that makes that person more efficient, which brings more work in and puts it in the back. I mean, it wins, it wins, it wins. I, mm -hmm. I, you got to invest in your future. If you're doing it the same way, it's not good. Yep. If you're doing it the same way, you're going to get the same results at the end of the day. So if you feel like you're never catching up on your to-do list, if you feel like you're always one step behind, if you feel you can't just get over that hump, there are reasons for that. And Yes, oftentimes people feel uncomfortable with technology. They don't realize how, how greatly it can impact a shop. But, you know, when we look at technology, even a lot of the automation technology that Bolton has incorporated in with our products, it's not just automating tasks that are helping to fuel the service end of your business. So I know we had talked about, you know, something as far as, uh, you know, loop stickers, right? So how you can automatically just make sure you have uh, these loop stickers coming in and you're reminding people to come back and, you know, all these different things, you know, there's a lot of things that you can do on the back end 
for your shop to help your team efforts, you know, communicating from the, the front of the shop to the back of the shop, making sure that everybody has all centralized information. Mm -hmm. But you can also, also automate a lot of the communication that you have with customers. So whether that's setting, you know, appointment reminders out, whether it's scheduling them in advance for their next appointment, these are all things that we know are important. But in the day to day, you're so worried about what's going on right in front of you, you're forgetting to check in with that person that's coming in for their appointment tomorrow, or, you know, you don't have the time to, you know, make a phone call, send a text message, shoot over an email. But when you have the tools that automate it for you, it no longer requires that extra effort. It's something that's set and forget. And those are the things that are really moving the needle for your shop. It's the things that are standing out. It's the things that are getting you visibility. Um, you know, and if you're relying just on people to do that day in and day out, that's extra staff that needs to do it. It's extra mm -hmm. time that your staff is going to be working rather than just making sure you have a solution in place to make sure that these things are done. Yeah, I mean, your, your advisor is central to your success in your shop because they are in the midst of everything. And, you know, if we can automate and take certain things out, you know what, even, on either, even this too, is that the advisor in the shop lives in today, it lives in this moment, because that vehicle's here, we found things that need to be addressed, we need to be sure the customer knows about it, so that we can sell it to the customer and make money. Mm -hmm. When your advisor gets the time to do that, that benefits everything. And you mentioned loop sticker, I mean, and reminders and all that, the customer, as soon as you click and you print a sticker, Loop sticker looks at today's ticket and takes all the work that has cycles on it, like rotations and things of that sort, and automatically sets up when that customer should be back for that. Mm -hmm. It also sets a reminder text message that goes out a week before the next job is due, and it reminds the customer that, you know, hey, you got service coming. Just let us know if you're coming in so we can be prepared for you. Pre-order parts. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. all these things that can be automated takes that away from your advisor so the advisor can pay more attention now to the person that's in front of them or on the other side of the phone or a text message. I want to know, I think the thing that's often forgot when it comes to automation, you are mandating best practices with automation as well, right? So, you know, when you have every person doing something a little bit differently all across the board, you're going to get different results. When you set up automation, you're doing it to the best practices. So that way you get the best results each time. And I think that's something that's often forgot, you know, as you know, there's, there's always frustration with, oh, no, we should be doing it that way, or we shouldn't be cutting corners this way, or what have you, if you set it up, and yes, there is that initial time sync that will have to be done in building what that process is and in making sure that the foundation is at its core set up properly. But if that's on like forget and repeat all the way through, then you know that you're going to be putting your best foot forward. And all it requires is simply tweaking from then on for, you know, better mm -hmm. results over time. I mean, that's so right. When you tell a computer to do something, it never questions it. It never mm -hmm. calls out sick. It never goes, ah, I don't have enough time. It automatically does it all. But as mm -hmm. soon as we give jobs to humans and we're all guilty of it, mm -hmm. that one day, oh, I can't do that. Or I, you know, there's a reason I can't do it. And as soon as I skip it once, you know what happens next. I skip it again and again and again. Whereas mm -hmm. the computer will never do that. So why not take some of that stuff off of your plate and let automation handle it? I mean, it's yeah. that simple. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, I completely agree with that. And these are the things that if you're looking for your shop to get over that next to the next level, if you feel like you're in a rut right now, if you feel like your team is strained, if you're strained, automation is really the way to go. Check out the tools that you have available, both to help your team internally, but then also build better relationships with your customers, with your partners, you know, externally as well. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, it's it's an investment that's going to not only save you dollars on the back end, but put more dollars in your pocket on the front end as well. And it does need to be said, though, we, we mentioned bolt-on products, et cetera, but there's the other side of this that you may already have in your shop software that you're not using. Mm -hmm. And it has automation and things of that sort to do. So, you know what? Do yourself a favor. Get more benefit out what you have. And when you see how that increases your, your income, 
then you add us on top and you're going to see a much larger return. Absolutely. We want to know the ways that you have automated some tasks in your shop. What's been most helpful? Um, you know, what's really moving the needle for you? Let us know, comment below, or let us know what you're interested in us discussing next. I know we have a few great guests lined up over the next few months uh, that we're going to be pulling into conversations. I know JB and I have a lot of really great topics that we're going to hit on, but of course, we always want to hear from our customers, our fans, our followers. So let us know what it is that you're looking to have us touch on, and we're more than happy to answer it. But JB, always a pleasure speaking with you. Uh, I appreciate you hopping on with me today. And you know, until next time, I hope you're feeling automotivated. I am auto motivated, Shana. Thank you. Perfect. Take care, everyone. So long.